likely will have to stop without yellow, and now it does but appear as though they were telling us the truth, that they are trying to make that the last stop yep. for Castro Neves. And there's Briscoe. Ryan. Briscoe is on pit lane. The third member of Team Penske. He switches from reds to blacks. And new ones. And away he goes. So what I love right here, Elio Castroneves with the orange mirrors, he's back out behind Marco so he can pace off of Marco. Here two the two uh, DNR two guys uh, working yeah. together. That makes you a bit nervous, huh? <laughs> yeah, <they're, laughs> you know, yes. they can have a spirited battle, but don't cut each other up. Right. You know, have it be friendly. They're Englishmen. But Justin's... When he's sneaking his nose out as you're going into turn 12 there at 160 miles an hour, nah, don't, don't make the move there. <laughs> Whoa, do you see Justin's car just get a little bit loose? That rear end trail around as he comes through there. That's that seventh is, place. Yeah, seventh and eighth. Started on the front row. Yeah. And now the best place to pass is this. Right up here. Yep, over four. There's the crest. Set him up, set him up. And Mike's protecting it a little bit. Uh, yep, you're gonna it's gonna get away. In highlighted in green, he used the overtake. He just saw it go down to eleven from twelve. That was spirited. Spirited. <laughs> yep, exactly what you wanted, Robbie. Now good job. Wilson to seventh position. And ready leads this race here at Barber Motorsports Park. Stay with us for more in a moment. Will Power relinquished fourth position just a few minutes ago to make this pit stop. It was very clean, very fast. Will back out there in good shape, but he did drop down to eighth position. So as we enter the final few laps of this race, Will Power right now after his final pit stop is in eighth position. Here are the top five with 64 laps completed. Marco Andretti, Elio Castro Neves, Scott Dixon is third, Dario Franchitti fourth, and Tony Kanaan fifth. Ivan. The Eyes on IndyCar Series is back on the streets of Long Beach. Saturday, we'll have qualifying at 6 o'clock Eastern. And then join us a week from today at 3.30 Eastern for the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach, only on Versus. We go from the deep south to the far west in one week. Join us for all the action from Long Beach next weekend. A couple of laps ago, uh, Milka Duno had an off-track off excursion. Let's take a look at it here. Yeah, missed, missed the corner, went into the grass. Now, Kyle Moyer, who calls the race for Mark Wendretti, they need a caution. <laughs> they were hoping for a full course caution, but they did not get it. Crash, crash, And crash. Then, why he needs that yell, it looks as though they're about five laps short, maybe four laps short of under green conditions, so they need that help. And, fellas, here's the way it works, yes. Michael really needs that. Now, that gives them both the good and the bad as the leader because they know they're going to have to pitch so they can try and go a little faster, add some separation. Now, as I'm analyzing this stuff, I'm looking at Elio Castroneves and with the fact that he pitted by lap 61, that's all well and good. If Elio can stay pat, make fuel, be conservative. But you want a sleeper? Take a look and let's watch for a little while the Iceman himself, the guy running in third. Scott Dixon hit it on lap 30, hit it again on lap 60. Hey, Robbie Floyd, it's a possibility that when this is all said and done, the tortoise may beat the hare, and it may very well be Scott Dixon. It may very well happen. And the communication between driver and crew chief, the man on the box is Mike Hull. And Scott keeps asking throughout the race, what number do I need? What number do I hit? Mike says, we worked on that since the very first lap. So they're, you know, you have a lot of computers up on this deck. You know, just plug it away. Mike keeps hitting with a certain number, but Scott also, with all this going on out there on the racetrack, he still keeps asking for a specific number that he's trying to hit. Hey guys, that's where that's where Mike Hall says that Dixon is. Oh, oh. And 
that is Alex Lloyd in the Boy Scouts of America car. Kyle Moyer again is like, crash, crash, crash. Yeah. 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 Watch that car running. <laughs> that car should have stalled. <laughs> Almost collected Sato there when he spun. Uh, Take a look at it once again. Ooh, little bump. Danica oh. Howie. bumped into the side of Lloyd and watch yeah. Sato. Ooh, brakes. Yeah, nice. Like we said, we said there's some beef to these cars. You know, Danica got a wheel right in there and just kind of pushed Alex over the side. Danica's running 16th, by the way. So Kyle almost got the full course caution, but no, we remain green. Hey, fellas, remember we were talking about the beef on these cars? You got to remember when they were first designed, this was a predominantly oval series. If you guys have driven these cars, driven from Indy cars. You know when you run on ovals, they've got to be, well, not fat, but they've got to be big bones, right? Well, now when we've transitioned over to some of the road courses, they're not as fragile as some of their cousins that were designed originally just for road courses and then kind of evolved into street course and road course racing. Andretti Autosport with four cars this year. Andretti is the best, and Danica Patrick is back in the 16th position. So Marco Andretti continues to lead, but by just a scant margin over Elio Castrodevis, who we think will be able to go to the rest of the way without a fuel stop. Stay with us. Welcome back to our live coverage of the Indy Grand Prix of Alabama from Barber Motorsports Park. On versus, the leader is Marco Andretti right there in 26, right behind him the second place car of Elio Castro Davis. Dixon is third, then Franchitti and Will Power, who is going for his third win of the uh, in a row. However, he has not led since uh, quite a few laps ago. He led a total of 12 laps. Marco Andretti has been, for the most part, the man up front. 19 laps to go on this 2.3 mile course. So I was saying earlier when we when we were talking about Dixon and kind of the the guy we forgot about in this sitting in that third position. Mike Hall, his strategist, says that Scott is so good at at taking you know give him numbers and he does it. He can produce it. He'll hit it. You don't have to massage it. Tell it to him and he can do it. Pretty, pretty high praise. Yeah. The last race of 2009 at Homestead Miami Speedway, we ran without a caution, and we've only had one caution here in our first race on U.S. soil in 2010. And so the race is moving along very, very quickly. We've only got 18 more laps to go in this event. 17 cars still on the lead lap. So this is going to be interesting how this shakes it up here. We got that lead pack. There's Marco in the red and black car chasing down Graham, being pressured by Elio. How are they going to carve their way through here? Very careful. <laughs> but but does Marco be aggressive and gap it? And then he's got Graham between him and Elio. And then now, having said that, then he's got other cars in front of him. So it's <laughs> this is going to be a, a good last 15 laps. Well, Elio's been telling strategist Tim Cindric, every time I get too close to Marco, I'm just losing all my clean air. I can't go around him. And Cindric is saying, be sure if you can hit that overtake, if you get a good run, then do it. And he's also saying, we can go the distance here. There is absolutely no way that Marco can get to the end without a yellow. And we saw that earlier on Kyle Moyer's face, guys. And that is indeed the case. He will not have to make a pit stop if we stay green. If is a big word right now. You won't miss a thing in IndyCar nonstop on Versus. Ivan. The professional bull riders continue to kick up the dirt in Nampa. The PBR continues tonight at 9 Eastern right here on Versus. On Versus right now, the IZOD IndyCar Series. We're on board with Alex Tagliani who is in 10th position, has had a good run for this fast team, a new one this year in the IZOD IndyCar Series. We met the principal owner of the team, Andre Ozzi, uh, yesterday, had a good conversation with him, and uh, I look for good things for the, from this team all year long. No question about it. I mean, starting on the front row in Brazil, what a great way to kick things off with a new team, and it's just been carrying over. 
and Andre is very excited about flying the Canadian colors, saying they really need to have a strong Canadian team.